What is going on everyone? Welcome to American Truck Simulator again with the TAM Edition 389. Merry Christmas to everyone. Christmas Day, Christmas morning as this video goes up. And I've got a little bit of an, a pack add-on here if you will. This was made by my friend Sprint Car 2L. And I asked him, hey, can you do something here? You know, I was, I was thinking about the, along the lines of what you see on cars with the fuzzy reindeer antlers and things like that. And he came up with this real quick. And, I, and I've also asked him to add maybe a wreath to the grill as well. Uh, so I haven't got an ETA on that one. But this is definitely different. Uh, we've got the red nose there. This replaces the uh, the handle that goes on the hood, the ornament. And then he put these antlers in place of the antennas here. Uh, I was expecting fuzzy ones, but he found these, and they look pretty damn nice. It is a different look, but, uh, you know, I w it works. It works for me. The nose is definitely different. Um, so... I don't think it lights up though, as you can see, I've got the parking lights on right now and nothing changes, so let's turn, oh, it does light up, alright, there we go, the red goes away, so maybe I'll run with it off, the red really shows up, it doesn't really show up when you turn the lights on though, yeah, it turns white, that kind of sucks, but, you know, I'm sure that's maybe something he can take a look at if he decides to work on it a little bit more, but this is a nice little Christmas holiday pack, and I decided to do a truck here, uh, in the red and white, and I didn't re I didn't really think green would fit too well here. Uh, this skin is the Peterbilt 389 Changeable Metallic 2. It comes from Clunk. It works on the Tam 389 and uh, and the Viper 389, and so it kind of has that whole sleigh effect. And of course, with the Tam, and I believe Vipers does the same thing. You can change the front fenders and the rear fenders, and that's what I've gone with here. So. Kind of really, I, actually, I don't need really need the mud flaps back there. You can see the lights showing up behind through it too. That's not good. I didn't even notice that. But I went with a kind of a sleigh feel here with uh, with the way the fenders kind of flow. Uh, so hopefully, I uh, you guys get that feeling as well. Uh, that was the effect I was going for. I am happy with it. Hauling a load of hay here, gonna feed the reindeers. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and get on the road. Alright, so how are you guys doing today? Are you enjoying your Christmas? If you celebrate that, are you enjoying your Hanukkah? Are you enjoying your weekend? Hopefully you guys are. I know not everyone celebrates it. I know not everyone is able to celebrate it for their various reasons. And so, uh, hope, I, I, hopefully we keep people in mind with that during these this time of the year. Sometimes rough on people for various different reasons. So, uh... Stop. Okay, good. It can be rough on people, both uh, emotionally and mentally. So, if you guys uh, know someone that's having a rough time, you know, give them a helping hand if you can. It's that time of the year where we kind of think about each other, we think about others instead of mainly ourselves. At least, well, I try to. So, anyway, uh, Christmas for me it has been good so far. As you guys are watching this, I am heading to the in laws. So, that's going to be an interesting day. Parents, my parents were over here the uh, day yesterday, and wow, the stuff that was underneath the tree, it's just immense, and, uh, you know, it, it's fun. Um, the wife made ham, and, you know, it was, it was a good time for me, good time. 
So, really enjoy these times, family getting together and whatnot. So, but back to the trucking here. And how are you guys doing with that SCS gift uh, challenge or gift pack that they're doing? That they're that they're doing with the ten uh, the ten external contract gift deliveries. You guys working on that? You getting them done? You finished them up? I've only done, I think, three. It's not something I have really been in a hurry to do. Um, this here is an external contract, so I'm going to be limited to 65 miles an hour. But as you can see, the speed limit's 55, and that's and just as I was talking. That's what I'm going to try to keep it to, is being around uh, close to 60. But, uh... Yeah, it's, it's been a good weekend so far, and hopefully today, it, you know, when I, as I go to the in-laws, as I mentioned, it's going to be a continuation of that. The nice thing is, is I'm off Monday and Tuesday. I don't go back to work until Wednesday, and then we work for three days, and then I'm off for another three days. So, nice time of the year. You usually get a lot of time off, depending on your job and what you do. There's a lot of people out there that are forced to work. Uh, on Chris on the holidays, so appreciate them making that family sacrifice if they have a family. And some people enjoy working the holidays, others don't, but they do it anyway because the job requires it. So never uh, been in a position where I had to work the uh, the holidays. Uh, every place I've ever been at was always closed. So, but uh, then again, my eight years with the environmental company you know, you're on call 24 7 so uh, there will be times where you could be called out because there's a, a spill or something but the nice thing I saw Friday coming home from work oh big lag jump don't know if that's gonna come through on the video but that wasn't good I'm guessing something here is not playing well with other mods that I have installed. So, well, see, there we go again. Some people are saying I'm starting to have that magnet issue here with this SKRS. You know, I don't know. I don't know if I am or not. Because uh, I didn't have this issue before. And then I updated the motherboard, changed that out, and now I'm having it. And the, the shifter here never moved. So, you know, it's not like I got jostled or something like that. I still have yet to change the USB port. I'm going to try that. It could be the magnet. I don't know. It, it's, it usually works when I take it out and put it back in. Uh, when I flip the switch. And then it works. So, you know, it's... It, it, uh, it's iffy, but it's something I have to keep my eye on. It's unfortunate. It really is. Oh, did I hit 60? Wow, I hit 60 quick. It's unfortunate. Um, you know, it, I've heard of many, many people having this issue with this SKRS, and it's a magnet that apparently comes loose. Uh, and from what I have been told, apparently they have changed all that in the shifter, so they're attaching it differently or they're doing something different uh, to avoid this issue from happening. But apparently there's a magnet and it, mess, it, it deals with the splitter and it comes loose or it moves or something like that. And so it, it messes with that and where the splitter doesn't work anymore. But I've also had it on the range. So I don't know if that one magnet controls both or what. It's something I'm going to have to try to remember to look into and take a look and see. But don't let, don't let that discourage you guys from getting this shifter. It really is nice. It does provide, you know, that nice touch of uh, driving experience to this game. So, you know, we, we, we really can't get it. We Well, yeah, there really isn't anything else we can do to get that. Um... You know we can't get the smells and we can't get the shift feed or the shifter feedback and you know all those things that we would have uh, if we were really driving so you know having the feel here in the shifter really really helps
looks weird with those antlers on there. <laughs> Sprint car has given me the permission to go ahead and let this go out to the public too. So if you guys are interested in this, it will be the link will be in the description. So go ahead and feel free to download it. Enjoy it, have some fun with it. So what do we got going on here with this trailer? Carlsbad is the destination, E and J Gallo. Load of hay going there, so. What time am I scheduled there? How far out? Three hours, so I'll be there in like 10 minutes. Not a long video for you guys today, but I wanted to show this off to you. Be a little festive, say Merry Christmas to you on Christmas. Uh, gonna also bring out the Sunday test drive, so hopefully you guys tune in for that one here. If uh, I haven't posted it already, not quite sure how the how the postings are going to go here, which one I'm going to post first, but if it's not up yet, it will be soon, so keep that in mind. But other than that, it's just a have fun Christmas time. Oh, and I was going to mention, though, Friday coming home from work, uh, you know, it was nice to see the Love's truck stop basically empty. There was maybe 20 trucks there, and that's not even a quarter of its capacity. I mean, it's a decent-sized truck stop, and it was nice to see that it was mostly empty, and, you know, the, the fuel islands were all full, so, you know, and who's... I coming through, you know, probably 2.30, 3 o'clock Friday afternoon, you know, who knows if those trucks were, you know, getting ready to leave or, or you know, they were staying or parked all weekend, you know, maybe they live in the area, but, uh, you know, it, it was nice to see the parking lot near empty. You know, I, I know not everyone really gives a crap about Christmas, and so a lot of drivers will go ahead and volunteer to work it. No, don't you stop, you dumb son of a bitch. There's no one coming. What are you waiting for? But, uh, yeah, not a lot of people... You know, of course, not everyone celebrates Christmas or Hanukkah or anything else like that. So, they will volunteer to work and drive. And then also there are those loads that, you know, require a driver to go ahead and get on the road and start their trip early. So, you know, there will be drivers hitting the road, you know, Sunday night, like Christmas evening, you know, afternoon, something like that. Because that load has to be delivered on Monday or it has to be delivered on Tuesday and they got to go halfway across the country to do it. So, uh, it's an unfortunate part of the industry, you know, having to deal with time scales and having to be there at certain, you know, points at, at, at a certain time. Uh, one of the guys on my crew who's a driver, he, he just had to deal with that a couple days ago where you had to be at a certain location at, you know, say it was 8 o'clock. You know, you had to be there at 8 o'clock. If you were there at 8.10, then... They were throwing a fit, and you know the, the the company that was receiving the load, you know they would throw a temper tantrum and, and call up dispatch and you know you know raise holy hell, you know it would, you know as if you were you know oh a day late and that product that you were carrying spoiled or something, you know they, totally overblowing, you know you being tardy by ten minutes, but you know they didn't even want you there early either, and that's understandable, you know if they have a lot that can't handle the traffic, you know, they don't, if you're supposed to be there at 8 o'clock Tuesday morning and you get there at 8 o'clock Monday evening, well, you know, you're probably just going to get in the way, go park at the truck stop and then come back tomorrow morning, but, uh, you know, showing up 10 minutes late, you know, and then regardless of what the reason is, and the weather at that time really wasn't all that great here in northern Illinois, so, uh, 
but you know that's just the way it goes sometimes some places want their their product their delivery at a certain time no matter what it is it could be the apocalypse and damn it I'm still gonna expect that cargo to be delivered at my location at 9 o'clock Tuesday morning and if you're there at 930 I'm gonna be pissed you know that, that, that the same goes for deliveries of any sort whether it's construction material or uh, you know food or you know whatever it is there's many types of businesses that are that way but you know I, he went on to complain about dispatch and I was like dude welcome to the wonderful world of driving when, when I started at the environmental company uh, they had the routing so jacked up you know, if, if I was going from stop if, if I was you know say the alphabet stop one would be A all the way down to H you know it, they would have me go from A to D to B to G, you know, crisscross back all over the place. And I was like, what the hell is this kind of routing? You know, there's no rhyme or reason for it. There was no scheduled times. There was, you know, they just threw it all together and said, all right, here it is. And I was like, no, 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 no. I, you know what? I'll do this my own damn self because I wasn't, you know, I start at work at six in the morning, get on the road at seven, and their routing would have me out all the way until like five o'clock in the evening and i was like no what's the freaking point of this i'm going past this stop three times you know screw it i'm gonna do this and so i took it over and I, instead of getting back at four four or five o'clock in the evening being out for almost 12 hours uh, i was getting back at you know 12 30 1 o'clock 1 30. and then they started yelling at me why are you getting back so early well because i filled the truck up now I got a full truck and did my full route and all the customers are taken care of and you know I did it on my own routing did it smartly and logistically wise instead of wasting time like you guys had me do so many of you guys who are drivers out there or many people who know those who are drivers will agree I guarantee you dispatch they have no idea they really don't it is and the, the, it's like a lot of the a lot of the times the, of the dispatches I've dealt with probably half of them used to be drivers and it's like what what happens to you you get in the office and you get stupid it, you've only been you know you drove for how many years and you've only been in the office for six months and you know it's like you forgot everything you're a dumbass again so many drivers will agree many still fight to this day dispatch just you know, they don't know. Hey, on the map, it's only this far, so you should only take you like a half hour, right? No, on the map, is that far, but in the real world, it's probably going to take two hours, maybe three, because of traffic. Yeah, this... And the thing is, they're just... Normally, they're just completely oblivious to it, and they take offense if you try to set the story straight with them. They don't like being told otherwise. This is the way we want it done, and that's going to be it, and if you don't like it, there's the door. Well, I don't like it because you guys are wasting my time, and in turn, you're wasting company time, and... Yeah, I don't want to get yelled at for, hey, what are you out here spinning your wheels for? Get your ass moving. Well, I'm not moving because your freaking dumbass people in the office told me to do it this way, and it's freaking stupid. Anyway, dispatch. <sighs> Gotta love them, right? Can't avoid them, can't kill them. Although it'd be fun to do it sometime. Just go in there and choke them. Come in there and just slap them around a little bit. You're a special kind of stupid, aren't you? So where am I parking this thing? Oh, right there. And I don't think I can pull right through there, can I? Nope, someone decided to park a forklift right there. Nope, yeah, doesn't like second gear. Am I not in second gear? Maybe I wasn't.
we go. Alright guys, that is going to be it for now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the cruise. Nice, easy one. Hopefully you guys enjoy the look of the truck here with this little parts pack that I have on here. If you guys like it, remember to check the description. Link for the download will be there. So, until the next run, have a good, safe, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, or just Happy Weekend, whatever you guys happen to celebrate. Be safe, have fun. Take it easy.